When freedom burns, the final solution Dreams fade away and all hope turn to dust Hello everybody, what's new in your life? I hope that everything is fine And I don't know, is it uh, correct to sing this song uh, while watching this video? But the uh, name of this video is Final Solution Bill Bior And I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences And I want to move to America And uh, I learn English on this, cha on this channel and today our guest is Bill Burr. Welcome to him. Yes, applause. Amazing. Yes, he's here. We are ready to start our show. We are ready to do reaction video and something maybe we will understand, something we will not because my English is not perfect. I have been learning for two years. And uh, let's do watching. Have fun, guys, and subscribe to this channel and click like button. It helps me a lot. See you next time. Wait, see you next time. Yes, I wanted to <laughs> like end this video. Okay, let's watch it. So I think about the population all the time, as you've been telling on my specials, I'm always talking about it. And I think I got the plan. Because I know, no, no, no. Wait till you hear the plan first, because a lot of people are going to die. <laughs> Before you start hooting and hollering. Everybody thinks they're going to fucking make it, right? This is how you do it. Well, this is not how I would do it. Okay, first of all, you got to become a dictator. Okay. Excuse me, need to find uh, another final solution. Yeah, I'm excuse me for it. Maybe you can find this. It will be maybe with a better quality. Yes, I think I got the plan. Because previous was b with lagging a bit, okay? Because I know. No, no, no. It will be without subtitles, by the way. I like uh, Bill Burr and understanding him without subtitles, it will be really a huge experience, good. Wait till you hear the plan first, because a lot of people are going to die. It's true. Before you start hooting and hollering, everybody thinks they're going to fucking make it, right? This is how you do it. Well, this is not how I would do it. Okay, first of all, you got to become a dictator, okay? Because it's too late to try to be like, well, hey, man, maybe just have a couple. It's too fucking late. Someone's got to have the balls to take out the sickle. <laughs> Start chopping some heads. Sickle is it a specific weapon, specific weapon like a sword, or is it for crops on a field? So, Meadow. Here's my idea. I become dictator. When you become dictator, obviously you got to murder everybody in power, right? From the head all the way down to their goldfish. You got to kill everyone in the family so they don't come back for their revenge, like in Godfather 2 or every karate movie you've ever seen, right? <laughs> You gotta do it the way the Russians did it, where you don't find the skulls for a hundred fucking years. That's the way you do it. Then you take control of the media. I yes, we have dictation, uh, dictatorship on uh, on time of uh, 19, 1950, yes, when it was Stalin here. And also, right now, uh, right now we have a bit... And I speak a bit of shy of it because maybe someone will hear me. Yes, everybody is listening. Phoebe I is listening to me. Russian Phoebe I. Keep all of you guys media blacked out. You don't know what's going on unless I want you to know it, right? Big pictures of me. You got to sing songs about me. If there's no passion in it, a black van pulls up and you're never seen from again. All right? <laughs> Figure three to six months of that, everybody gets on the same page. And that's when I'd start thinning it out. Randomly sinking cruise ships. Cruise ships. Just hear me out. It's the way to go. It's the way to go. You get 2,500 to 3,000 people a whack. And I think it's a really good mix of people to get rid of. <laughs> you know? Think about the kinds of people that take a cruise. Cruise. Like a cruise, like Titanic. Forward thinkers. These aren't seekers. They're not pivotal to our survival. You ever hear somebody coming back from a cruise? It's one of the worst stories you're ever going to hear. Because they don't do shit. They don't want to travel to another country, interact with a new culture, try to figure out the train system or the money. All they want to do is just sit on a fucking boat. Exactly. A fucking boat. Boat. Just drinking. That's all they want to do. All right? Worst story you'll ever hear. Hey, how was your cruise? Oh, it was great. I was fucking laying there. There was a DJ over here on the one and the two wooka wooka thing, right? Wooka wooka thing. And they had this chocolate fountain. It was like a fountain. 
but it was chocolate. And you stuck the toothpick in the food, and you stuck it in the chocolate, and you stuck it in your mouth. And then you'd be like, I want another drink. And it gathers in your navel, and you punch yourself. You get in your mouth. Then every day around noon, we line up for lunch. What's for lunch? We don't know. We don't make decisions. Whatever they give us. I like all inclusive. You just have to think once. Can I write that number on this piece of paper? All right, tell me where to go. I'm telling you, if you guys could just get past the humanity of what I am suggesting. If you could just get past it and maybe lose it. I'm so sorry, here's some of friend of mine. Something happened with my nail. Okay, I will figure out after. I extremely excuse him on for it, but it hurts a bit. Yes, extremely nice. Super, I made it. Yes, it is a small part of uh, skin upper my nail. Sorry. A couple of friends here or there. I'm telling you, you wouldn't miss them. You wouldn't miss. You know when you'd miss them when you when you went to when you went to a baseball game and there wasn't those hundred people in the upper deck trying to get the wave going, right? <laughs> You wouldn't have people getting mad because someone's sitting down during a song like, that's offensive to me, even though I don't know the issue, right? <laughs> Nashville, a little pulled back on that one. I don't understand uh, all this type of... N all this type of sports in America, really, I don't understand. What I, should I watch to understand it better? Should I watch specific slogans, motto and... Uh, What's the name of it? It is uh, when they do like, uh, hey, hey, pedophile, like um, I watched some something like football, football uh, speech when fans crying, yelling aloud to support or distract so someone's team. Yes. <laughs> Little pulled back. It's about police brutality. It has nothing to do with you and your beautiful white world and mine, right? Just let it go. I don't give a fuck if you watched every episode of McHale's Navy. This is still not about you. It's not a military issue. <laughs> I'm telling you, you wouldn't fucking order to start sinking these cruise ships and then retire to my chambers with my mistresses and my whores. Right? Just banging away, wearing the whole uniform, the whole dictator uniform, everything except for the pants, right? <laughs> Compression socks with sock garters, just banging away. My unearned medals just clanging off my chest. The big thing is to see how long I could fucking keep the hat on, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I can't do that. That breeds resentment amongst your men. You gotta lead them into battle. And I would. I would, I'd have my own sub, all right? I'd have sub, submarine? My own sub, and I would hunt these cruise ships on a moonlit summer night. <laughs> That's right, on a moonlit summer night. when su Moonlight summer night. It is when moon appeared, and it is summer. Town carries, you know? You know those summer nights when your neighbor's talking about you, doesn't think you can hear them, you're sitting on your porch going like, oh yeah, is that how it is? <laughs> so that's how it is, right? One of those nights. And I'd be a sport about it. I'd surface before I did it. I'm armed, they're not. It's only fair, right? They see me, I give them a little wink, a little nod. I'd have a little Red Baron class. All right, get the fuck out of here, right? But if you didn't see me, it'd be game on. And every moonlit summer night, every summer, I'd go out to harvest, right? That would be the deal. I would just surface. <laughs> Once listen for the music, yeah? He's imitating music of uh, like a deep down, like buses, buses, buses of music. <laughs> Fire one. <laughs> 
Dude, look at my arm in this tank top. <laughs> he won't. He wants. He wants to make it to sink. You cruise over. You strafe all the survivors. <laughs> Crazy man. <laughs> Who's bringing it down? <laughs> that would be it. Twenty five hundred to three underwater. All the evidence is gone. All the evidence is gone. Every mass murderer throughout time is fucked up. They did it on land. You're gonna get caught. Where are you gonna put all of that, right? You do it out to sea. It all goes under, you know? Nobody knows. I don't know what happened. I have no idea, right? No evidence. No evidence. Maybe, maybe like a flip-flop, right? <laughs> like an Ed Hardy shirt, just floating by. I'm controlling the media. Nobody knows about it, right? And as I sank the ships, I would be building exact replicas at the same time, right? So I'd be eliminating people while creating jobs. You guys have no fucking idea what's going on, only you just realize, like, wow, man, the traffic's easing up. I'm getting into third gear at five o'clock at night. This is crazy. This is amazing. I don't know what's going on, but this build guy's all right. You know, another buddy of mine got a job building ships. Can you fucking believe that? That industry, it's just blowing up. It's, it's crazy. Dude, I want to get a job down there. They're paying great, you know, make a little extra money. Then, yeah, I mean, who knows? Maybe you and me take a cruise. We'd have a good time, right? Get out there. That would, that's how it would work. That's how my ethnic cleansing would work. It wouldn't be based on rim enough to think that taking a cruise is actually traveling. Technically, you're traveling, you know, but what are you seeing? Just a bunch of, look at the water. Oh, my God. You can tell that's the Atlantic Ocean. That definitely does not look like the Pacific Ocean. So. Nice. Amazing, I want to say. Really, I understood what he said. He said, but what is final solution? Let's find meaning. Final solution. What is it? Because I know Song of Sabaton. Final solution. The Jewish question was a nasty plan for the genocide of Jews during World War II. Oh. Oh, 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 the final solution to the Jewish question was the official code name for the murder of all Jews within within reach, which was not restricted to the European continent. Oh, Jesus. Yes. And uh, participants order police battalions and Waff Waffen SS Wehrmacht another. Yes. Okay, now I understand it better. And he created like final solution for for this type of to Surface It is <laughs> it is nice by the way politician program for US for nowadays maybe. Yes, uh, because you have elections, uh, you have Joe Biden, you have Trump and uh, you you can use what uh, Bill Burr said. It will be maybe a nice decision. <laughs> Joking. Yes, it will be a nice decision to make traffic uh, to lose traffic. It means that uh, traffic will be more f more free to go to the right, to the left, to forward. Everybody will look. No, no, nothing of cars around. Thank you a lot for watching this. I'm so glad that you are here and have a wonderful day and a proof cell daily. Always, always do your own things like learn writing, learn poetry, learn comedy, learn arts. Do your own things. Thank you a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.